Today we're going to learn the stunt shot. The stunt shot is the most important shot there is in pool. 70 to 80 percent of your shots you're going to perform with a stunt shot. We're going to go through this practice drill in detail. I'm going to show you exactly how to lay it out on the table and what you need to know in order to practice this drill. How to set this drill up properly. I ran the string from the first diamond all the way down to the other end of the table to the corner pocket. Now I lined the string up to the center of that corner pocket. It's very important to be lined up properly. Now as you can see here I use the three ring binder enforcements. For the purpose of this video we're going to call them donuts. Started at the corner pocket. Consider that your first diamond. I went to second diamond, third diamond. So as of the third diamond, which you'll see right here, I went all the way down every diamond, placed a donut underneath my line till I hit the exact cross section of the corner pocket. Now that's how you lay out for this the average weight of a cue ball is five and a half to six ounces. This particular Aramith red dot cue ball is five and a half ounces. Your standard measles cue ball usually weighs right around six ounces. Now the cloth itself that you're playing on, that's going to have a huge effect on how your stun shot performs. So before you go ahead and you're playing in a real game, Make sure you learn the table, learn the cloth, learn the cue ball, take some practice shots, see how your stun shot's working. You might have to go a half a tip lower because the table's more slick. You might go a little bit less than a half a cue tip because the table's a heavier cloth, thicker nap. There might be uh, humidity plays a fact. This all comes together. So let's go ahead and take our first shot. Now, that was a perfect stun shot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take another object ball, put it right on that dot, and you notice that it touches the cue ball. So I stopped that cue ball exactly where I needed to be to perfect a perfect stun shot. Now we're going to go ahead and I would do this shot approximately 15 to 20 times. Okay, and on to the next shot. We move the object ball down one donut. And let's see how close we got. I'm about a half an inch forward. Almost perfect. It's hard extremely hard 100% of the time to stop it exactly in the ghost ball position. But you're that close. It shouldn't make any critical error. Again, I'm about a half an inch off. And now what we're going to do is go ahead, take the cue ball back to its home position, bring your object ball down to the next diamond. And then you proceed all the way down. Thanks for joining me and as always I hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit the like button, smash that subscribe button, share with friends and family and please leave comments below. I'd love to hear what you think and if there's anything in particular that you're practicing on that you'd like me to demonstrate for you, please again leave the comment below and I'll put together a video just for you. And remember, if you subscribe, you'll be updated of all our giveaways. There'll be many, many more to come.